Hello, hello. Kenny Evans here, another car video. And this video is actually going to be about the Game Kings documentary. I'm doing a review over it here. I was able to uh, get the video. I watched it here this weekend, and it's it's actually pretty cool. You know, I'm just doing a quick review, telling what I thought about it. Uh, the good, the bad, the ugly. Even though <laughs> everything's going to kind of be thrown together, but I'll just give just my whole view of it and and all that good stuff. And from there, you guys can decide whether you want to watch it or not. You know what I mean? Um, obviously, it's not going to be available unless you're on the Bad Boy membership uh, until, what was it, Good Friday this year? Where they're going to be selling it out, out for the open. But hopefully I'll let you guys... Uh, have a good idea about it and um you know you guys will be able to make the decision whether you want it or not so 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 here we are so the game kings documentary the definition of game had seven people in it, it had obviously mr ocario uh, miles cunningham steve the dean williams eddie fuse uh uh rosebud bitter dose the boss Mac Topsoil and Rom Wills. I really wasn't too familiar with uh, uh, the boss Mac Topsoil. This is actually the first time I'd ever seen him on video or you know ever, you know. So I, I wasn't really familiar with him, but he had good knowledge. You know, what I mean, um, he came definitely more from a perspective of a, um, I guess, a guy from the hood who got out of that. You know what I mean? And it was cool. You know, um, you know, he seems like he's still in the uh, in that kind of environment. You know, maybe he hangs out with those kind of people, but he's, you know, just kind of elevated himself out of there. But, you know, he had some um, some great knowledge. You know what I mean? And I realized the central theme from all these guys, you know, it was all about putting yourself first. And it's all about being the best you can be for you, <laughs> not for the woman. You know what I mean? And his was no different. You know, even though his is a little more like even against different guys or, you know, you got to show that you're the man and you're the most alpha you could be. You know, it's like if a guy disrespects you, you got to, you know, got to handle that. You know, and I get it. It, it just depends. Because it's true, you not you don't want anybody to disrespect you as a strong man, but you gotta understand when to pick and choose your battles. You know what I mean? So that was interesting, but obviously when it came again, when it came to girls in the game, it's like, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do um, for you and find women who who fall into that category, who follow your lead. You know, and if they don't, let them go. You know what I mean? And then you had uh, Rosebud here. I've seen him around a little bit. Still don't really know too much about him. Apparently he was a uh, a, uh, <laughs> a former pimp. You know what I mean? So obviously he has knowledge about the game and essentially he's saying the same thing. You got to find women who, when he was talking about this as a pimp, you got to find women who are down for your game. It's bigger than just them giving you money and, you know, doing what they're doing to bring your money to you. But they also got to be able to follow you, you know. And he's talking about the woman that he um, last, uh, um, I guess, the woman he ended up wearing was the woman, I guess, who was uh, the last to stick around, indicating that she really had interest in him and valued him that she was willing to stick with him when nobody else would and that's in, he said that it ended up being the, the the mother of his child you know and of course you got your boy miles <laughs> miles 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 he did some good stuff here too he said some good stuff um it's all about for from what he said it's all about just getting a woman again to follow your program. It's not about what she wants, you know? And he had the mindset, hey, 
through your life experiences, what you've eaten, where you travel, things you've done, you should feel like you the man and that you have the value that you could instill on the woman. You know, you have to understand you, you the man and what you bring to the table, she will not experience without a man more than likely. And you got to understand the value you could bring to her. You know, <laughs> you got your boy Eddie Fuse. You know, he's talking about, um, and this is all just general synopsis of everything. Pretty much, you have to understand from your experiences with women just how the little ticks that they have, you know, how to read women and how to understand whether they're good for you or not. You know, it's all about really understanding um, what you got to do to get that woman or, or if you have to even get that woman or if you should let her go. Just understanding her, her body language, is essentially. He said he learned a lot of that from, you know, approaching thousands of women. You know, and obviously that's always something good. You always have to, you know, when learning a game, you got to learn from experience. Regardless if you learn from all these guys, you still have to go out in the field and learn and apply your own knowledge and stuff to uh, what you've learned, you know. But, um, and you got your boy Steve the Dean, you know. <laughs> I remember uh, a very crucial... Well, I guess a very important um, story he was telling here in the documentary uh, where it was about his mentor, the guy who taught him game, you know, and he was saying his mentor had a, a, a group of, of coins, money, I guess. Uh, I think it's just like some coins, like pennies, nickels, dimes, and he had a group of the kids in the neighborhood. Steve was in that neighborhood. And um, the mentor asked the group of kids, do you guys want money? And they all said, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And then the mentor dropped these coins on the ground and he just sat there. And then Steve and some of the other kids who really wanted the money, they went and got it. They picked up all the coins and stood up. And then his mentor said, all you kids who didn't want, didn't go for the money, leave. And then his mentor, or at least Steve said, what that taught him was, or his mentor told him was, if you say you want something, you got to be willing to do what you got to do to get it and go for it. And again, that is so relative when it comes to the game. You say you want women. You got to do what you got to do to learn what you got to do and apply what you got to do to get women. You know, so it's also it's so interesting. It's so because I've I've known that, you know, for a while. But just hearing that, seeing a different perspective about it was incredible. Because it's just, it puts it all into perspective. It's like driving a car, learning how to how to use your car. At first, you're not that good. But over time, you can do it blindfolded. <laughs> Obviously, we wouldn't advise that, but you can do it in muscle memory. It's just natural. Over time, you just got to, if you really want women, you got to learn. And of course, it's going to be rough at, at first. But you got to just learn. And over time, you'll get better and it'll be more natural to you, you know. Uh, but then you got uh, Mr. Lucario. I mean, it's just, it's just the basic theme was all the same. Same with, Ms. with Mr. Lucario. You just have to do what you got to do to get the women. Don't complain about what you got to do. Don't complain about how things are different and how society is and this and that and the other. You just have to do what you got to do to get the results you want. You know, it's all very simple. You know, if you're not willing to do it, then you can complain. But don't get mad 
when you don't get the results you want. <laughs> you know, if you're not willing to do anything about it. You know what I mean? So, I mean, that's pretty crucial. Um, and then you had your boy, Ron Wills. Good old Ron Wills, my man. You know what I mean? I like all these guys, you know, but Ron Wills, you know, he's, he's a cool guy. Um, but, yeah, he was talking about the body game, and he just, again, you could use, he said he's talking about the baits, your body game, then you got to have to, you know, you be able to talk to women, and then you got to be able to see the deal. <laughs> you know, all of them are important, you know, but none of it is for the women. You're not going to get your money for the women. You're not going to get your body right for the women. All this is for you, and you got to be able to do what you do again to get the women, but you got to be able to close the deal. You know, because if you're only standing on all this, and this is another thing Steve said, if you're only extending on all this exterior stuff, when a woman gets to know you, you are not going to be able to stand on anything and she will see right through you and she will use you and you will be miserable, <laughs> you know? So you got to do all this stuff for you, you know? That's tying in Steve and, um, and Ron, what Ron Will said. Everything you do for women or everything you do in the game is for you. Regardless of if it'll help you get women, you still do it for you. And you use it to help you get women. But how you feel about yourself and the confidence, it has to come with, from within. You know what I mean? Because if you're doing it for the outside world, it will always change. Because everything in the outside world is never permanent. It always change. So you always got to do what you got to do for you. You know, but ultimately, I mean, it, it was a great documentary. Um, it, I'll be honest, it was still a little basic information. But if you had no idea about the game, you will learn a lot. It's very, you know, foundational stuff that you have to learn in the beginning and take from, you know, as you go. But... You know, I mean, you know, that's a lot of stuff, you know, they talk about in their videos on YouTube, you know, and um, but again, there's nothing wrong with hearing it because repetition is the mother's skill. You keep on listening, keep on hearing it. But of course, applying, you will get results. You know, what I mean, so it was great hearing all the different perspectives and seeing where they came from and the, their different pr perspectives on, you know, how the game is. Yeah, you know I mean, and it, it was definitely very uh, inspiring and, and motivational for me. You know, I mean, get out there, keep on learning and uh, getting results and applying all the stuff that they teach and the stuff that I know. You know, what I mean, so I definitely recommend um, getting the documentary and just if nothing else, as a as a as a memorabilia, because stuff like this is powerful. It's the first of its kind. You know what I mean? So definitely something to uh, keep in mind and, um, and and learn about, you know, for the future. You know, for you guys who want to be uh, in the field, you know, you got to learn how to first learn about from people who are doing it, but then also from experiences and learn how to gather all them together, you know, and um, build something great. You know what I mean? So that's all I got for you guys today. Um sure you guys learned a lot here and definitely I'll leave a link in the description uh, how to get the documentary and hey you know if you liked the video uh, hey hit the like button and of course uh, subscribe like comment subscribe and if you like the video again donate I appreciate it so until next week y'all be safe and I will see y'all Peace.